Good evening all. Now, how many connectors are there in a USB 3 socket? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five? I thought there were four. But it seems that in USB 3, there are in fact five. Now, USB 3 is completely backward compatible with USB 2. So how on earth do the five pins in the USB 3 socket mate up with the four pins in the USB 2 socket. They just look completely misaligned. And they are. Now USB 3 and USB 2 hardware are completely interchangeable. They're completely backward compatible and forward compatible. You can put a USB 2 plug into a USB 3 socket and a USB 3 plug into a USB 2 socket. So how does that work? Well, if we tip this up ever so slightly, you can see the four connectors for USB 2 are in there, but they're buried just a little bit deeper. So in fact, the USB 3 plug and socket have a shallow connector on the socket, that is, uh, which is five pins and a deep connector, which is four pins. Now, if I bring in the USB 3 plug, of course, it's the other way round. The four pins, or at least the four tracks, are near the tip. So they mate with the four springy connectors deep inside the socket. And then near the back, I uh, can't really see it here because the light's not shining on the middle of the five pins. Not sure why, perhaps it's gone dull. But anyway, those deep at the back mate up with the shallow and near the front five connections in the socket. Interesting. And it is pretty noticeable that the USB 3 plug is a longer plug. The USB 2 plug is a shorter plug and I would imagine that the corresponding socket has a bit more depth for USB 3 than the very low profile USB 2 sockets. And uh, I'm only looking at the hardware here, the physical plug and socket arrangement. Five strips there and four springy pins. How the uh, USB 3 spec works in terms of data speeds and all that stuff is a whole different subject. Cheerio.